So the easiest way to set up an account is go to altusdrive.com. And then if you need to create an account, just go to create individual account. You'll go in there. And uh, there's many other videos that we have on this, so I'm not gonna belabor the point here, but you just enter all your information in there and uh, it'll bring you, to where, uh, bring you to where you need to go. Once I do have it set up though, log in. You'll log in and it will bring you to your profile page. Notice how it has the profile access code down here. So if I needed to change that, I can just type over this and I can change it. Like I also said, double check your email address. Make sure it is correct. Make sure you can access, still access that email address. Maybe you created this account five years ago. This has been around for a while. Uh, so maybe you created an account a while ago and you don't remember the email address, you don't have that email address anymore, change it. Make sure it's correct in your profile before you go over here. Verify everything's correct once you've set up your account. Next thing you need to do is go into device management and you're gonna wanna add a device. If you already have a device in there, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, so you go to add device. Now, how do I get these numbers right here? So the serial number, the pin, and the code, uh, how am I gonna get them? So on the scan tool, you go into system settings or tools, depending on what you have for tools, in the same spot on all of them. You're gonna go in there, you're gonna to go to get connected, and then it's gonna give you those ID numbers right there. So serial number, pin, and code. Uh, it has to be connected to the internet when it generates this. Otherwise, it does, it does, it won't work. And you cannot leave this page. If you leave this page, notice how we got 303E105. I go back in there, 8C9, it's, it's totally different every single time. It just generates a rolling code every time you go on this page. So you have to leave this screen open on your scan tool in order to do this. So I would recommend using a totally different browser, uh, a totally different tool. All right, so I can't do this because this is a sandbox, so it's, it's not connected to it. Um, but you would punch in the serial number, the pin and the code, give it a, give the tool a name, and then it would show up. Next thing, I want to set up, set up my account with the manufacturer. So I'm going to come down to security link here. And you'll see we have numerous options. Now, pay no attention to Renault. Renault obviously doesn't exist in North America, so you know, that, you know, that won't even show up in North America. Um, but we have FCA North America. If I wanted to do that, I can add my credentials here. Username and password, which has to match uh, auto off. If I don't have an auto off account, I can just click right here and I can go sign up, go to register and sign up. If I wanted to, we try to make it as easy as possible. And then you just need to check off the boxes and then you're good to go. For um, Volkswagen, so Volkswagen Group's gonna be down here and then I hit plus and I add it in. What you really need to do is you need to go through, now this may look a little different if you haven't added all your information. So you need to have, make sure all your personal information's in there and you need to make sure your shop information's in there and then it'll bring you to this EULA page. Check the box. And then this is for privacy policy, etc. Check the box, hit save. And then it's gonna say we sent an email verification request. You would go to your email in that case, hit the little button on the verification. You can come back here and make sure it works. Then the next time you go into the tool, it would give you that little pop-up window where you enter the profile access code and you're good to go.